Moondrop IMs. I love Moondrop. You love Moondrop. Everybody loves Moondrop. Why? Because they have very solid tuning, couple with really good resolving power as well. Anything from their $40 offering all the way up to their $700 offering can impress just about anyone. And today we're gonna be covering nine Moondrop IMs in this first episode of I Am Buying Gun. Hey guys, Timmy, welcome back to Giz Audio. Today we have a buying guide for the brand Moondrop. Now I have nine IEMs right here for you guys. I have the SSR, the SSP, we have the Aria, Starfield, KXXS, Blessing 2, Blessing 2, that's Variations, and S8. The only two that I'm missing from the line right now is Illumination and Solaris, so those two would not be covered in today's video. For the rest of them though, I'm gonna be breaking down how they sound for you guys and telling you guys the highlights, the pros and cons of each one. And at the end, I'll tell you guys which one you guys should buy depending on your budget. The first two we're going to talk about is the SSR and the SSP. Now these come in at $40 each, which is right now the cheapest moon drop besides the spaceship and the new and upcoming um, I am, I forgot the name, but there's a picture right here. That one's supposedly $12 and it's not out yet, but I'm very, very excited for it. But yeah, back to these two, the SSR and SSP, the sound signature on these two are fairly neutral with a very kind of a aggressive upper mid range. So female vocals are going to come across very forward and sometimes a little bit too forward or too shouty for a lot of you guys out there. Male vocals, however, sound fantastic out of both of these IAMs. It's gonna sound better on the SSP because this one does have more bass than the SSR. Now between these two, I do recommend the SSP over the SSR because with that added bass, it does kind of balance out the aggressive upper mid range just a little bit. So this one sounds much more pleasing than the SSR does. So for your $40, I would recommend the SSP. Now the best part about these two IAMs, the thing that impressed me the most about them is how clean they come across. For $40, you kind of don't expect anything to be too uh, resolving or too clean. You know, you kind of expect it to be uh, just subpar in terms of resolution for the most part, but not these two. These two are quite competitive resolution-wise, even with something similar to like an Aria. Now, it's not quite the Aria in terms of resolution, but it's close. And that's very impressive for something only at $40. Now, if your budget is under 50 and you cannot stretch any more than 50, I would recommend getting either one of these two. Like I said, SSP is my favorite, but if you can stretch your budget a slight bit more, you might want to grab the next IM. And the next IM is the Aria. Now this comes in at $79, which is double the price of the SSR and SSP. But if you can spend that extra money, these are legitimately the best set you can get under $100. These perform almost just as well as the Moondrop Starfield and the KXXS, which we're gonna talk about next. Those two run around $109 and $189 respectively. And this performs pretty much on par with those two IMs at around $79. So really great deal right here. The sound signature on this one is really fun. It has a really nice kind of thumpy mid bass. The sub bass also extends uh, quite nicely. Not the deepest sub bass ever, but you do feel a sub bass. Mid range on this is also very pleasing. Male vocals, female vocals are gonna sound great out of these. Male vocals will sound better than female vocals though because in the treble area, it does lack a little bit of energy. But this one in comparison to the Starfield and the KXXS, I would say this one has the most uh, upper mid range and treble energy. So for me, this one, I actually prefer over the other two, if I'm being honest with you, and it costs less. So yeah, Aria, fantastic I am right here. And detail retrieval on this is also very great. And one thing that you'll be impressed with these by is the sound stage. These sound quite wide and the widest of the three between Aria, Starfield, and KXXS. Next two, we have the Starfield and the KXXS. Now these two have very similar sound to each other and also very similar sound to Aria. I would even go as far as to say that they are 95% to 98% similar. So it really goes down to the little nuances of these IAMs if you really want to tell them apart. So let's start with the Starfield. So the Starfield is going to have the best imaging of all the three IAMs. It has really kind of Pinpoint accuracy imaging is quite impressive for $109 to be honest with you. And it also has the least amount of sound stage. So it's gonna be the most narrow out of all of them and also the darkest or the least energetic. So female vocals on these are not gonna sound as good as they do on the KXSS or the Aria. But the imaging on these are just gonna be better. If you want just solid imaging or if you're wondering what solid imaging or great imaging 
feels like or sounds like, the Starfield is a great sampler for that. Now for the KXXS, the only difference between the KXXS and the Starfield would be that this sounds just tighter. The bass is tighter, the resolution on these are just overall a little bit more refined than the Starfield. But to be really honest with you guys, these two are very, very, very similar. If you're casually listening to them, you're not really gonna be able to tell them apart. You really need to be critically listening to them A and B to tell them apart. Like I said again, the little nuance would be the Starfield has better imaging overall and also less energy. This one has more energy and just better resolution, better detail overall, but just by a margin. Now, if your budget is under $200, um, I would say either one of these three is fine. The Aria is good, the Starfield is good, the KXXS is good. If you want the best out of all three, of course, the KXXS is gonna be the best one in terms of detail and just overall sounds just more refined than these two, but again, not by much. So if your budget is under $200, it's really hard to say. If you wanna save money, go with Aria. If you want good imaging, go with Starfield. If you want the best out of all of them, go with KXXS. It's, it's your pick, they sound very similar. Jumping up to the $300 price tag, $320 and $330 respectively, we have the Blessing 2 and the Blessing 2 Dust. Now these two are fantastic. Some of the best IEMs you can get around $300 hands down. I'm not the only reviewer who thinks so. Many reviewers also think the same and many people who have tried these IEMs think the same. And the reason for that is they have very, very, very good tuning. You've never heard vocals sound so good than on these IEMs before. Anything under $500 is it's not gonna be able to beat these two in just pure tonal balance, pure tuning alone. These two just sound absolutely fantastic. And not only that, it also has great level of details as well. For $300, these two are just the complete package. I would say if your budget's around $300, grab either one of these two, you won't be disappointed at all. The one thing to note about these is that the shell shape is kind of big. So people with smaller ears might find it a little bit uncomfortable to wear these for long periods of time. So maybe if you have a friend or anyone you could borrow these from, just test them out first before you buy. If your ears are bigger, you won't really have a problem. But yeah, that's really the only problem with these two IAMs. Now the sound signature on these are quite different. They're similar, but they're different. The Blessing 2 original is gonna sound more neutral with a more flatter bass line uh, leading into a very natural mid-range and a lot more energy in the upper mid-range. So female vocals do come across a little bit more forward, a little bit more aggressive, but it's never, never too much. Like I said, again, it's very well tuned. Everything sounds natural. So nothing feels harsh, nothing feels too much. Overall, it's a very smooth experience with the Blessing 2 here. Now the Blessing 2 Dust is a little bit different. It has a little bit less energy in the uh, upper mid-range and treble area. It sounds a little bit more darker, I guess, rolled off a little faster, if you will. And it also has more bass or more sub bass. So between the two, I would say that the Blessing 2 does, does have a lot more fun in its signature, especially with the bass. This one is just more neutral, more flat in general, still well-tuned. But for me, my preference, I prefer the Blessing 2 does. I like the extra bit of bass. I like the extra bit of warmth that really kind of highlight male vocals and make them feel even more full than on the Blessing 2. The Blessing 2 male vocals can sound slightly bit thin at times or small not by much though but these the blessing 2 dust fix that issue for me if i were to pick one it'd be the blessing 2 dust but in all honesty you really can't go wrong with either one of them depends on your taste if you want more bass you want more fun you go with the blessing 2 dust if you don't really like bass you want something more neutral you'll go with the blessing 2 both of these are fantastic and for 300 dollars again some of the best IEMs you can grab. The next IEM from Moondrop, if you go by price, it's gonna be the Moondrop Variations coming in around $520. But since this one's the newest one from Moondrop and it sounds the most different, we're gonna talk about this one first. We're gonna talk about the S8. Yeah, the S8 sounds the most similar to the Blessing 2 Dust. It has similar uh, levels in bass, mid-range, and upper mid-range and treble extension. Now, why is this twice the price as the Blessing 2? And why is it still worth it at twice the price of the Blessing 2? Too. And for that, we're gonna have to look at how this thing executes uh, every frequency range and how it does most things better than a Blessing 2 does. So let's start out with the bass. The bass on these is just much more smooth. On a Blessing 2 does, the bass can come across a little bit forced at times when it comes to songs with a lot of bass. You feel like you're hitting the limit of what the drivers can do. Uh, the bass just come across a little bit more forced, a little bit more dry. These 
The bass is smooth, a very smooth bass leading into the mid-range, it's just very beautiful. The mid-range on this arguably is not as good as the Blessing 2 does. The Blessing 2 does just sounds more natural, has more of a natural weight to it. This thing has what is called a BA timbre, which makes all the notes feel a little bit more light and in the air, a little bit more weightless if you will. So it doesn't sound as natural as the Blessing 2 does, but still sounds very, very good. Just a touch shy of the Blessing 2 does in terms of how natural uh, and how realistic something can sound. Moving on to the upper mid range and the treble, these have more energy than the Blessing 2 does. Female vocals especially are gonna sound like they have a fuller range on the S8, more naturally full and pleasing on the S8 than on the Blessing 2 does. And overall signature of the S8 is just done more cohesively and more smoothly than the Blessing 2 does. So it is in essence the Blessing 2 does, but better in majority of ways. And that's why it costs more. And for me, it is worth every dollar. And out of all the moon drop, that I have today. Spoiler alert, this one is my favorite. All right, lastly, the Moondrop Variations. I already did a review on this one, so I'm not gonna go in too much about it. You guys can watch my full review on it. I'll leave a card up here. And yeah, this one is fantastic. For $520, I think $30, I forgot the actual price of this. For that price, it is fantastic. It has amazing instrumental separation and that makes the sound on these IMs just come across extra clean, extra detail, extra resolved. And these to me, compared to even IMs at $700 or $800, these compete with those in terms of level of detail, sheer resolution. And that's something that's super, super impressive with these. The first time I listened to these, I was so surprised. I remember putting in my ear and I turned on the first song and instantly was taken back. I was thinking, that's so clean, so crystal clean. And it's just, it blew me away. And the tuning on these also fantastic. Great balance, great male vocals, great female vocals, better female vocals on these though than the male vocals because these do have um, a rather thin lower mid range. So male vocals do take a step back on these uh, in terms of the bass it has more sub bass then mid bass, so you do feel a lot of rumble, which feels very good. In the treble, this thing has a lot of air, so there's a sense of spaciousness. There's a sense of a stage, a wide, airy stage with these IM that I love so much. But yes, all the details are gonna be in my full review. Just know that for $500, these are simply the best you can get. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, leave me a like, subscribe if you found this one useful, and maybe I'll do more buying guys in the future. Leave a comment down below, which is your favorite Moondrop IMs as well, if you made it this far into the video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.